Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, said on Thursday that the number one reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is believed to be in a state of meltdown. Considering that the fuel rods are likely to have melted and fallen to the bottom of the reactor, we can say that the number one nuclear reactor is in a state of meltdown. Earlier in the day, it found the coolant water in the reactor was at a level that would completely expose nuclear fuel rods if they were in their normal position. Judging from the reactor's surface temperature, TEPCO believes that the melted fuel is being cooled down. However, it suspects the meltdown may have damaged the bottom of the reactor, causing water to leak into the containment vessel. It also suspects that water is leaking into the reactor building. The company is planning to fully fill the containment vessel with water by increasing the amount injected. The company says, however, it must review the plan in light of the latest findings. The revised plan is due to be released on Tuesday next week. TEPCO also says that an operation to transfer highly radioactive water pooled in the turbine building of the Fukushima plant's number three reactor resulted in contamination of the nearby ocean. Highly radioactive water was found leaking into the ocean from a pit near the reactor's water intake on Wednesday. The company transferred about 1,000 tons of radioactive water from the turbine building of the number three reactor earlier this month. It says that during the transfer, radioactive water leaked out from an underground pipe connected to the pit. The company admitted in a news conference on Thursday that prior inspections to prevent leaks were inadequate. The leak apparently occurred between Tuesday and Wednesday. We have to consider carefully about the possibility of contaminated water leaking into the ocean. Last month, highly radioactive water also leaked into the ocean from a pit near the number two reactor. Despite efforts to ease concerns in neighboring countries, Japan's agricultural exports have taken a hit because of fears of over radiation contamination. South Korea's imports from this country have dropped nearly a quarter of what they were usually were. The South Korean Food and Drug Administration says average daily imports of food from Japan have fallen to 75 tons since the start of May. That's a decline of 74 percent from April. It says the figure was unchanged in March and April. It attributes the plunge to tougher restrictions that came into effect on May 1st. Imports of vegetables and processed food from Tokyo, Fukushima and 11 other prefectures must now come with the Japanese government a certification that shows they meet safe limits for radiation. Officials from Japan are also trying to address concerns in Hong Kong about the safety of this country's food. The Japanese Consulate General held a presentation in the city on Thursday to answer questions that have arisen since the nuclear accident in Fukushima. About 150 people from local business and other circles attended the seminar. Japan's Consul General Yuji Kumamaru and other organizers talked about the ongoing efforts to bring the nuclear accident under control. They also reassured attendees the food in the supply chain does not contain unsafe levels of radioactive substances. The officials went on to stress that Japan is still a top-notch tourist destination. They pointed out that the radiation levels are normal in popular spots such as Hokkaido and Tokyo. Hong Kong is the largest importer of Japanese farm and fishery products. 500,000 people from the territory visit Japan every year. The European Union has postponed making a decision regarding safety tests for nuclear power plants in the region until next week. Nuclear safety authorities of the 27 EU nations met in Brussels on Thursday to discuss methods of stress tests for 143 nuclear reactors operating in the region. Safety tests are likely to include earthquake resistance of nuclear power plants and measures against emergency power failure due to natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods. However, some members strongly objected to including measures against terrorist attacks as one of the test items. Nuclear safety authorities were also divided over ways for the EU to assess the results of safety inspections conducted by member nations. Discussions are scheduled to continue next Thursday. 
the Japanese government will decide on Friday on a framework to help TEPCO deal with its compensation burden caused by the nuclear crisis at the Fukushima plant. On Thursday evening, the government was planning to decide on the framework at a cabinet meeting attended by Prime Minister Naoto Kan. The framework calls for creating an institution to facilitate compensation payments through an injection of public funds and to ensure a stable supply of power. The compensation scheme is not designed to save TEPCO, but to help those affected by the nuclear accident as soon as possible. However, the decision was temporarily delayed due to objections raised within the governing Democratic Party. Some members expressed concerns about the possibility of an increase in electricity rates. Nevertheless, later the DPG member, DPJ members agreed to the framework, citing the necessity to quickly pay compensation to those affected by the disaster. Yubu Electric Power Company has begun procedures to stop the two remaining operational reactors at the Hamaoka nuclear power plant in central Japan. The utility company plans to shut down the number four and five reactors as requested by the government due to earthquake concerns. The company started inserting control rods into the number four reactor to stop nuclear fission at 3.30 a.m. on Friday. 
It plans to halt power generation by the reactor at about 10 a.m. Operation of the reactor is expected to fully stop at around 3 p.m. The power company says it will start the operation to shut down the number 5 reactor on Saturday. The number 1 and number 2 reactors at the plant had been previously shut down for decommission, and the number 3 had been stopped for regular inspection. After the number 4 and 5 reactors are stopped, all 5 reactors of the Hamaoka nuclear plant will be non-operational. Japanese commercial so much. No, you don't understand. Now look at this f***ed up Japanese commercial for Dole Bananas. Yes, regular ass Dole Bananas. <laughs> I mean, what the f***? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love you Japanese, but why are you marketing bananas to thugs and crying women? And who in the hell is that weird superhero guy? Banana Man! Worst superhero ever! Alright, see now this video got a half million views in a month, and only in Japan could you market fruit by shooting it out of a dude's nose! <laughs> I mean, who approves these things? Seriously, who sits around and goes, Yo, know, I got this idea for a commercial. You guys are going to love it. Like, who in the f*** would eat those bananas now? Mmm, snotty bananas. <laughs> I mean, for real, if Japanese companies are selling food by shooting it out of this guy's orifice, then give me five minutes and a clean toilet, and I'll make you a Butterfinger commercial. <laughs>